Hey, everybody. What's going on? I'm assuming I'm live. You can see me up here in the upper left-hand corner of your screen. Uh, first things first, I want to thank Robin for graciously agreeing to come in and, and be my eyes since the monitor is way over there and I can almost see it. Hello, Bill. See, I can see that much. Bill just came in. Um, I've said hello to everybody else in the chat. Via Doug, chat. Doug says I'm bigger than you are. <laughs> And so what we're going to do this time, I'm going to take this, I'm going to take the teddy bear that we cut out last time. It's still got the, the, it still has the pattern on it. I haven't taken it off. And I'm going to position this. I'm, I'm not measuring. I'm going to eyeball it because that's good enough. If I was to put a measure on it, I am, well, let me put it back where I had it. I'm uh, seven eighths of an inch there. Seven eighths of an inch there. An inch there. And about an inch there. So I can eyeball it pretty good. So what the first thing I'm going to do, what we're going to do in here, if you haven't read the description, is I'm going to paint on the back side of this. I've already painted it white this morning. So I'm going to paint on the back side of this with the colors that, my, uh, that I think will look good. And I'm going to use my daughter's favorite colors for the scarf and the stocking cap. So how am I going to determine where on this board to paint what well i'm going to make outlines and i'm taking my scribe out of my carrot square let me change the view sorry robin okay okay so i'm going to take the scribe out of my carrot square that's this thing here and I'm going to, because it's fine. You, if you got something really, really fine, you can do it. So I'm going to, and this is the same way I did the snowman. So I'm going to scribe down in here as best I can. And that will scribe me a line. And I just make sure I paint a little over the line when I start applying my paint. So Josh says, Billy, is this a self-portrait of you, Santa Teddy Bear? <laughs> and then uh, Doug, no. Doug had said, oh, just eyeball it, Billy. And, eyeball and Larry's here. Hello, Larry. Larry. And then Aldrich. Doug, uh, no, LC Woodworks. Oh, hello, Larry. Larry Contreras. And Doug said, just got done watching Fabi's video. Pretty cool project she made. Yeah, yeah I thought it was well. awesome. Yeah, it was great. She did a good job. And Bill says, it's more important that it looks good rather than worrying about measuring. And then Doug says, T6000. Billy has a Santa outfit. P6000. And Russ is here. Hello, Russ. Hi, Russ. I'm going to paint behind the little holly berries red and the leaves green. I don't think you're going to be able to see that. But I'm going to do it anyway, just in case. And Doug says, isn't that the glue Fabi was using? 
Oh yes, uh, E six thousand. Or is it E six thousand? Yeah. Oh yeah, E six thousand. Yeah, yeah. E six thousand. That's the glue that crafters use. I haven't ordered any of that yet, but I'm going to because it's good for other stuff as well. So you just scribe all of this. Some places you can't get a line because it's just a little bit too small for my scribe. I suppose I could sharpen a long, thin nail like that, but I'll lay this beside it and I'll eyeball it. I should get close enough. Doesn't have to be exact. Bill says that must have been a carbide drill, Doug. Because uh, Doug said it's drilled into my head now, the E6000. <laughs> so, thank you everybody for coming to see me. Appreciate it. Uh, for those of you that aren't aware, I spent the last this last weekend, Thursday night through Sunday afternoon in Waco at SWAT, the Southwest Association of Turners Convention. Had a great time. Learned some things. That's always good. Jerry says, I was threatened if I didn't come. Spent some money. <laughs> Who threatened me? Wasn't me. <laughs> Larry says, Billy, what if you sprayed black through your pattern? Would that work? Spray black through it? It would, but then it would all be black. And I'd have to paint over it. And I had to, I tried to spray this white today, and I've got two cans of white primer, and the nozzles on both of them clogged up. I hate a cloggy nozzle. So now I've got to try to figure out a way to salvage those cans of paint, because they're both near full. And Doug says he was so tired last night, he said nothing. He just left us, LOL. Who, me? Oh, I was exhausted. And then Jerry said, Robin said she would be putting hits on people. What? <laughs> and then Larry said, you're painting over anyway. I am. Anyway, so I just painted it with white acrylic paint and let it sit here to dry. And I think Doug was talking about a herb. What about herb? I don't know. Stuck on the screen. I feel like Doug types like me one line at a time. <laughs> you know? Doug says there's no such thing as a Canadian mafia. <laughs> Chris Nealon's here. Hi, Chris. Hello, Chris. Should have been a swap, brother. Oh, because Doug's banner's on the screen. I mean, uh, Herb's, Herb's banner. Oh. Saying, saying Doug. 
How do I get that off? I think if you just click it. Uh, I think you have to do it. I don't know how to get it off. I think <laughs> I think you have to go back to the Okay, I can do it, I think. Wait. Oh no. You have to go back to the comment in the comment bar and then click it there. Oh. Oh yeah, I didn't know I clicked it, but apparently I did. Ah, there it went. And then, um, so Chris says, hey, Billy, I see you enjoyed SWAT. And then Doug says, too hard for you to keep up with this delay, Robin. And then Chris says, wish I could have been to SWAT. Unfortunately, I tested positive for COVID on Saturday. Oh, no. Oh, dang, Chris. And Josh says, get a hammer, Billy, and just smack the screen till it's removed. It's no, I, I guess the TV is too expensive. So, um, I, I hope you fare well with it, Chris. Hope you're feeling okay right now. And I hope it doesn't hit you too hard. Okay, I don't think I missed anything. So now I'm going to leave this sitting right here so i got something to go by. Because some of these tiniest lines that are only one saw blade width, I couldn't get the scribe into. So I'm going to have to guesstimate and hope that I don't, hope that I don't screw up. Uh, I've got my fine brushes here. I've got this brush here I'm going to do most of the work with. I'm going to start here at the top and move down so that I'm less likely to get all over my work. And her favorite color is purple. Chris says so, his only symptom is sinus congestion. So that's far. That's good, Chris. So far. That's good. I hope that's all it is. And he was vaccinated, so it should be mild. Uh, I hope so. Some people that were vaccinated, it's hitting pretty hard. Okay, so I will take this little bit right here. And Steve C says, let's hope it stays that way, bud. Yeah, I'm, I'm pulling for you, Chris. You don't have to be perfect here. You just don't want to make sure you don't get too carried away. Because then uh, you have some touching up to do on the outside if you go outside of where it goes. Chris says, I plan on isolating in my shop tomorrow. Yeah, it's a good place to isolate. If you're feeling up to it, uh, I, if, if you remember, I wasn't. I would like to have been, but you'll have to wait and watch my SWAT synopsis video, Chris. I've got everything filmed. I just need to edit it. Uh, I bought a few tools. Spent more money than I should have probably, but, you know. Poppy's Woodshed's here. Hello, Mervin. Hi, Mervin. Uh, my, uh, I, I blame part of it on Doug Thompson. I've been wanting to get a three-quarter inch bull dog. Uh, he sweet talked me into buying his. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
took a lot of arm twist in, I bet you know that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now we'll do the green, the green, green, green. I'm going to be doing some of these colors multiple times. I could have left my brush wet and done the purple down here, but then I'd be all over it trying to do it here. And I don't want to be that or do that. So, I'm using a little bit finer brush down here because these are small pieces. Now, how you choose to color the back of yours, that's pretty much up to you. You, know? you don't have to go through all of this stuff that I'm going through. Nothing says they have to be... Nothing says the holly has to be green. Nothing says the berries have to be red. You could... Like one of, like one of you already said, one of the things you could do is just tape everything up outside the teddy bear. And since the pattern is still stuck down on here, you could just lay that in place and spray black on it and you'd be done. And that wouldn't necessarily look bad. But it's Josh, not the effect I'm after. Go ahead. Josh says, Billy, did you get John C's permission to paint your wood? I did not. <laughs> I, I did not. Um, I, my wife is the one that said, I want you to paint. So I painted. Uh, <laughs> you know. You know how that goes. And Chase here. Hi, Hello, Chase. Jay. How you doing, kiddo? See, this is... I haven't seen Shaylee do anything like this either. Not that she couldn't. She is so awesome. Okay, so there's my holly and my berries. I think I'm done with the red and the green, so I'll get that out of the way. <laughs> Somebody's blowing up Robin's phone. <laughs> Jerry. Jerry, if I had to guess. I'm just kidding, it's not him. Oh, <laughs> okay. So on the on the pads of the feet and on the wow. Okay, on the pads of the feet and in the ear, I'm going to use burnt sienna. Not yet, up here. And then for the shadows, I'm going to use uh, brown oxide. Doug says, John doesn't paint, he stains. That's right. And Larry said, Billy's painting his berries. Yes, I am. No, I, I am not, I already did. My berries have been painted. So everything that's a shadow line is going to be this brown oxide. And Chase says it's not. It'll give it some depth. Do what? Shay says it's 97 and I'm sitting wearing black scrubs. 
ready to be home. Uh, wow. Yeah, I don't, I don't blame you. It's not 97 in here. I don't know what it is outside. Probably close to that. It really was. But I'm, I've got both of my air conditioners running, and it's pretty comfortable in here. Pretty comfortable. Now, burnt sienna for the inside of the ear. And this is just acrylic paint. Glad make me an ambassador. And David's back. Hi, David. Hey, David. Yeah, you need to become a plaid ambassador. Getting paint all over me. Oh, no. What happened? I don't, I'm getting paint all over my fingers, and I don't want it on my shirt. Yeah, don't get it on your shirt. I know how you get. You're wearing a shirt with paint on it. Well, yeah, right. <laughs> Are you saying I nag? <laughs> I would never say anything like that. But yeah. Bill says, this is like watching paint dry. Wait, we are. It's true. Even in the, <laughs> even in the crafting community, we hate watching yep. people paint. <laughs> Who said that? I did. Oh. <laughs> well, hopefully it won't take long. And I'm painting his eyes blue just because I think it'll be cute. What? It's the old logo anyways, Billy. That's what Steve says. And then Who Josh said? says, Josh says, Robin says it's Robin says it, not Billy. <laughs> Who said it's the old logo? Steve Nealon? Yeah. You are right, Steve. It is the old logo, which is why I'm out here doing this in it. All right. Now, more shadow. So I'm going to go with brown oxide okay so I have a question initially I was thinking about doing the nose black should I go with the burnt sienna like I'm doing on the pads of the feet and the ear for the nose or should I go black like I was originally thinking I'm thinking black still but I feel like black. Bear's nose are usually black, aren't they? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But so are the bottom of their feet. Everyone's saying black, black, black. Okay, black, black wins. Okay, so... Uh... I think I'll paint it black then. What do you say? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then Chris says red nose. <laughs> red nose the Rudolph reindeer. And I couldn't get a scribe line for this piece, so I'm hoping I get it right. Josh says, Robin, their feet are black because of the mud on them. And Jerry says purple.
Jerry like to be different. Black it is. This isn't going to awfully bad. On my next live, I will be doing, I'll be scrolling the dragon, I hope. When's that going to be? Uh, I don't know yet. Because I really need to get some editing done and I need to get a turning video out. I haven't done my zoom in forever. Okay, now I put the black away. Then we go back to Poipo. <laughs> Robin's awfully popular tonight. Hmm. He turned it down, too. So, what did everybody else do over the weekend? I asked people to thumbs up, and Merv says, I did Robin. Jerry says, I thumbs up everyone in here. I know, so it's Robin's fault. <laughs> oh. And Steve says, dodge a hurricane. Bill says, too hot to do much. Well, that's too bad, Bill. Josh says, I cut grass and then worked on cardinal piece. I cut my yard today. And Doug stayed home. Russ drew up a Charlie Watts squirrel saw pattern. <laughs> and Bill mowed grass today. Chris Nealon drank NyQuil. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say it. <laughs> You don't want to say what? What Doug said. What Doug say? <laughs> I'm not saying it. Sorry. And then Merv said I carved some trim for an old door. <laughs> no. It. There, I said it. What'd you say? It. I'm not saying uh, it. All right, let me go up here and see what he said. <laughs> I ain't there yet. Josh says, Billy needs better panels, someone to actually read all the comments. <laughs> <laughs> and then Steve C called me a chicken. <laughs> ah, it's all good. I read it. She's afraid I'd get mad at her, I think. I wouldn't. I didn't want to say it. It's embarrassing. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. All right, where am I? And Doug says, careful, Josh, she has a wrench. And Steve Nealon says, the right panel knows which comments to ignore. 
That's and true, then, too. And then Bill said, at his age, it didn't do much for Doug. <laughs> Touche, Bill. That's funny. I don't care who you are. That's funny. Okay, now. I have a line right here, shadow line, <clears throat> now Doug's asking Bill what his age is, <laughs> and Jerry's laughing at Doug, or Doug's comment. And then Bill says old in capitals and Doug <laughs> says at least it still works. And then he says, Yeah, I thought so. I guess Bill doesn't know how old Doug is. Well it works when Works when Barb lets him. Did I say that out loud? My virgin ears. Mm hmm. Sure. Okay, now this little square right here, <laughs> I'm going to leave white because it's a through hole from where the scarf is above. This little hole here, I'm going to leave white because it's a through hole between the scarf and the leg. And it's to the side of the body. So if I was to paint something in there, it would look just weird. So I'm not doing it. Jerry says, no wonder I can't hear. Turn the volume up, Jerry. The chat's pretty quiet. Yeah, they're getting bored. I don't know that I blame them. Almost there. Chris Nealon says, don't be abusing Robin. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> and then Jerry said that would be a Robin prob Robin problem. Her selective reading got it wrong. Oh, what did I do wrong? And then Bill says, I'm probably older than you, Doug. Josh says, falling asleep watching paint dry. What did I miss something? Did you miss something? I don't think I did. No, I don't think you did. I said the chat was quiet because everybody's bored, and I don't blame them. Really? Oh. Didn't I say abusing? Do what? I don't know. I'm confused. 
after what you just said that I didn't understand. I think I'm confused too. And Murph said, I saw your collaboration is coming well, Robin. Which collaboration? She's got so uh, many. <laughs> yeah. Jerry says, oh, well, Billy said I needed to turn up my volume. If you had read what I said, he would have understood you have the hearing problem. Oh, okay. That's what I, I said that, didn't I? I've slept since I, then. I said my virgin ears, and then Jerry said, uh, "That's what. That's why you can't hear, or something like that." Then Jerry said, "Both stinky." Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Almost done. I just got the pads of the feet left to do. Jerry says, never mind, I feel like I'm having another stroke. Again, it's not imperative that you stay in the line because Everything's going to be covered up. And then Josh says, don't have another stroke, Jerry. And David nope. said, LOL, no, Jerry. Nope. Not allowed. Disapproved. Oh, and then Steve says, same advice for Doug, Josh. And then Jerry says, no, I'm not. When Robin stopped, the symptom stops. Thanks, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> and then Merv laughed. And then Bill said, that's Billy, always coloring outside the lines. That's me. Hey, somebody knows me pretty well. Okay, because I scribed the one I said I don't want to paint, I need to touch that white up a little bit so that you don't see the lines. that I scribed when I glue that back on. And I glue it back on. I haven't glued it on the first time yet. What are you talking about, you stupid? <clears throat> and I will, after I get this glued on, I will go around on the outside. And, or I'm, maybe before. I, I don't know yet. I, I, I will go back around and I'll put some more white on it this i think i may not so now hopefully the fun part i can't lay this over to show you just yet because we need to let it dry but i need to put it in position and see how good i did and by cracky that's close enough for the girls i run with Rally it is. So I'm going to put it over here in front of the fan. Josh says, Billy, stop thinking. I see the smoke. 
Touche. I had my finish on my fish box. And my wife didn't like some of the fuzzies that were on it. So I sanded it down with 600. And it dulled the crap out of it. So I took it to the buffer and tried to buff it out. That didn't work well either. So I took lacquer thinner and cleaned it all off for deep needs of alcohol. Same with the box. And I'm going to have to put another coat of oil on this and hope I can keep the dusties off of it because I'm not going to sand it back down again. It made me mad. This should have been done already. Now, <clears throat> this is the snowman that I did on the last one. And you can see where the... the it comes through just nicely. And what I want to do now is I'm going to have to move you and some stuff and move your the position of the camera because I want to take this piece of frame or this, this baby bed rail and I want to start making a frame to go around this piece. I glued this down with clear Gorilla Glue. And now I want to cut the frame. So, let me move some stuff. How long have we been going? 42 minutes. And Jerry says, oops, I thought the smoke was coming from Robin. Josh says, Jerry is coming from both. Jerry says, yep, seems to be clearing up since I put the pipe down. <laughs> Long enough for the paint to be dry. <clears throat> oh, you got it. Okay, so I'm going to get my handy-dandy Craig Meyer jig out. I really like this jig. It's very, very accurate. David says, David says, I got all night, or at least until the meds kick in. And Jerry says the delay is bad. I'm sorry about any delay. I is anybody else buffering? Well, no, the delay from StreamYard to uh, YouTube is almost always bad. And Jerry says, yeah, the comment delay. It's probably delayed because I'm watching on YouTube. Maybe. Oh, the comment delay. Uh, the comment delay off of YouTube should be faster than... Streamyard, so, but I'm sure there's still a little issue there somewhere. Bill says Billy's shop assistant just came in. Yeah, yeah, that's my new shop dog. 
that's Gypsy. She was my dad's dog. And she didn't have anywhere to go after we put him in a home, in the home. Uh, so my daughter took her for a little while. I need a drink. A little bit of water. Now, my daughter took her for a little while, but she's got a swimming pool. And when the kids are playing in the swimming pool, she gets really excited. My daughter's afraid she's going to hurt a kid and that's going to work. that was aluminum or at least a soft ferrous metal and Jerry says it was horrible the other night on his live it was horrible on Jerry's live yeah what was horrible the delay oh And Josh says the shop assistant is the panel replacement. <laughs> she don't talk. She talks less than Robin. So that wouldn't be good. Square. Transfer my mark around. Robin? Yeah? You let me forget to turn my dust collector on when I made that cut. I'm kidding, folks. It's not her fault. That was a joke. Like Jimmy Buffett. Moan, folks. Well, who did you? I didn't want to do it this way, but I will. Because I don't have enough swing over here for that. Bill says, is that a woodpecker square? Uh, no, this square is, this square is Milwaukee. I got a four inch and a, and a six. I can't remember where I found them, but I really like them. Okay, dust collector on. Okay. Oh, that's why. That's why. See, that's why you measure what we we'll do there. Measure twice and cut once. I measured once and it was, but at least it ain't too short. It's too long. I can live with too long.
Josh says, Billy, you're going to need more wood now. Three cuts, still wrong size. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, the guy was wearing a really funny shirt at SWAT this weekend. It said, It said, measure, measure, cut, swear. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. Because very often that is correct. Bill says measure once, cut twice, and it's still too short. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong. I cut this thing three times, but it's still too short. Why don't you bring the wooden snowman over there so then you can just check it? Because it'll be in the way. But that's what we got. Josh so. says, get the board stretcher out, Bill. That's about right. No, I don't need a board stretcher. It's okay. It's going to be fine. It's going to be just fine. Let me double check. Make sure I'm going to down here. That we look good. And Josh says you'll get sawdust on the snowman if you leave it over there. Yeah, I know. Turn on your dust collector, Mercer. I already did. You're too late. It's not me, it was Merv. either. I'll be all right in a minute. I ain't worth a crap at frames, just so y'all know. Idiot. The problem is I keep flipping this from this way to this way and it keeps messing up. Bill says that's what they all say. That 
may be a little bit long, but that's better than too short. Because I can always trim if need be. Josh says, frames are fun. I've got four to make that are two feet square. Okay. So it's just wrapped. I need to make this piece Josh says, key to frames, make sure pieces are the same size. Yep. And Merv says, that snowman is going to melt before it gets framed. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, 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 And Al is in. And he Hello, said... He said, just stopped in to say hello, but won't be able to stay long. I hope everyone is doing well. Hello, Robin and Billy. Hi, Al. Eleven and eleven sixteenths. I'm glad I remeasured. I'd have been a half inch too short. <laughs> and Shay says, "LOL, why I buy frame." And Bill said, David Picuto made a great fixture for gluing frames. And Josh says, Shay, buying frames is cheating. It is, but I don't blame her. I really don't. Saw back out of the way, dummy. There's a piece. Okay, that should be just a bit long. And she says, Josh, no, it's not. The art is what people look at, anyways. And then she laughed. That's true. But, but doesn't, this, doesn't this frame mean something? Uh, what do you mean, doesn't it mean something? Well, because wasn't it part of a crib? It was, yeah, but not this child's crib. Or not this child's child's crib. Okay, yeah, I did. I cut it a little off, but that's all. And then Russ says, frames help to sell the art. And Connie's well, here. Hi, Connie. But I'm not selling this. Hey, Connie. 
And then Jerry said, I'll have you making frames by the first of the year, Shay. <laughs> and JJ's here. Hi, JJ. Hello, JJ. Y'all are just in time to watch me screw up. And yes, I reached my hand that close to the blade, but I knew where it was. Jeez. So don't be freaking out. I've been using this here saw a long time. Okay. Still a little long, but I'd rather sneak up on it than get it too short on one cut. Shay says today is midnight one year, one year anniversary. Today is who's one year anniversary? I guess her her scrolling channel. Oh, cool. One year ago, she sawed her first piece with her blade upside down. <laughs> well, if the blade was upside down, you didn't saw it very good, did you? And Josh says, sneak up on it now. Too short. I did sneak up on it. It was just right. And she said, thanks, everyone. It actually wasn't bad. Jerry's got to lay back down. His kick, his kicks are coming. All right, Jerry. Bye, Jerry. done this a while ago too. Okay.
I'll do it this way. It won't be sitting like this. It'll be raised up a little bit. But You get the idea. And I need to refinish this frame after I get it put together. But it will go together and it's going to look nice. What am I sitting on? All right, but anyway, you get the idea. So that's what it's going to look like framed up. And the other one, I'll do the frame exactly the same way once I get it glued down. And I will post uh, the pictures once I get it done. And I get the frame glued together once I get that done and I'll get this mounted. I'm not going to put glass or anything in the front. I'm just going to leave it like it is. Burn my logo in the back. And that's the snowman done. And like I said, I'll do the teddy bear exactly the same way. Mm -hmm. Let me change and views. So that's pretty much it. Um, did anybody have any questions that I missed? Thank you, Connie, so much. I appreciate it. Uh, and everybody else that said it looks good. Thank you. Appreciate it much, much. Uh, I don't, I don't have anything else I can do tonight. Yeah, I could glue this together, but you don't want to watch that. And I don't want to bore you with that. So I'm not going to. I don't know. Connie didn't see what I did, so she because she wasn't here. What I did, Connie, was I took the teddy bear that I scrolled last time. Thank you, Mervin. So I, yeah, I need to get better at making frames too, Connie. I suck at it. I really do. So I. Uh, I took this little teddy bear that I scrolled last time. It's still got the pattern on it. I haven't peeled it off yet. And I traced all of the cutouts onto here and used the favorite colors of the person who's going to be receiving it for the scarf and the stocking cap. And then I used accent colors for the shadow and for the pads of the feet and the ear, and I made the nose black. I painted the eyes blue, just because I cute. And who are you giggling at? Josh says, we already watched paint. We already watched paint dry, so all that's left is watch blue dry. Ah, thanks, Josh. Uh, you watched me paint, and paint was drying as I painted. But however, all that said, the paint is dry now. So let me line this up. I've got one little place I could touch up in the ear, but I think it's going to be fine just the way it is. So once I get the paper off, I don't know if you can see the colors behind it or not, but that's what it's going to look like. And then I will make a frame for it after I get it glued on. I'll make a frame for it just like I did this one. I've got another piece of this same uh, baby bed rail over there. I've, I've actually got actually two baby beds that I tore apart. So I got two, two more, three more rails I could use. One more this color and one is lighter. But I'm going to sand this up and restain it anyway. So that's what we got so far. And like I said earlier on my next live scroll which will be I don't know it depends on 
and it depends on what John wants to be doing this week. I don't want to run over him at all, and I don't, I don't want him to postpone anything he needs to do because I'm going live. So my lives are always usually start at 6:30 Central, and I will continue to do that. And if John's got something he wants to do and start an hour or so later, I can always kill mine halfway through or whatever. Not a big deal. Uh, but I will. The next, my next live is probably going to take a good two hours because I'm going to be scrolling a dragon. Uh, it's basically, a, it, it, it's a simple dragon pattern, but there's a lot more to it. They're a lot smaller. So I got a feeling it's going to take me a little bit longer than it did to cut these other two. So thanks again for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. I appreciate everybody out of the chat. I, uh, I preach. Johnny says, I do need some help. What help do you need? When I took part of the piano, the piece pieces that the wood has a way. You mean like it's got curl in it? Good night, Bill. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Hi, uh, as always, I, 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 I really appreciate Robin coming in and helping me out, being my uh, eyes. Because while I was over there working, I couldn't see any of the chat. And without her, I wouldn't know what y'all are saying. So I wouldn't know what to answer. Uh, I run my mouth enough as it is. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And as always, oh, do that social media thing. And uh, like and share and all that stuff. And live, laugh, love. And y'all come back. Thanks again.